everyone, it is your girl Paige. Welcome to my Tarot Pick a Card video. This video is for those of you who are currently in separation with your person of interest or your partner, or there's been limited contact, maybe long distance, um, a breakup, anything, but there is some form of separation. This is specifically for you guys who are in separation from your person. And this video is going to be a two-parter. So this first part, you're going to choose one, two, or three, and that will answer the question of will you two get back together, okay? Um, and also, I'm going to mostly be tapping into your person's interest energy as well to get to that um, to get to that answer. And then for the pile you choose, only if the answer I say is yes, you will get back together. Then the second part of this video is, it's all down in the description, by the way. If you get a yes, you two will get back together. Then you have to choose from the letters A, B, and C. I will present the piles out when I'm done with all of these, so you'll see it. <laughs> you can make your choice if you like to look at it. But yeah, that will answer when will you two get back together? When will you two talk again, right, and reconcile? Um, but again, you can only choose A, B, or C if your pile says, yes, you two will get back together. So for now, the first part, answering, will you two get back together? I need you lovely people to choose from only one pile. We have pile one here, we have a pile two here, and we have a pile three here. So pause the video, take as much time as you need to make your selection, and I will meet you at your pile. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi there, Pile One. Welcome. So you want to know if you and your person of interest will get back together. Let's start with the tarot and then we'll get right into the oracle cards. We have the moon in reverse. The two of pentacles in reverse. The Ace of Swords in reverse. The Four of Swords. And Justice. Okay. Um. Hmm. There's definitely a strong, like, energy here in regards to the word. Sorry, there was honking. <clears throat> As I was saying, there's definitely a strong energy surrounding the word pause and halt. Um, so much so that unfortunately, I feel as if I'm already getting an answer. Um, the moon talks about illusions. In the upright position it talks about illusions mystery hidden secrets but it's saying it'll soon be revealed but the fact that it is in the reverse position it's giving me the sense that whoever you're asking about they want to keep this um shroud of confusion or mystery maybe this person just doesn't want to get back together or maybe they just don't want to grow up and they're immature and they want to just be casual or I don't know they think it's too much work perhaps this two of Pentacles in their verse is giving me a heightened sense of this person feeling out of balance and this avoidance with the ace of swords in reverse is like avoidance of communication or conversation and then the four of swords right here is talking about the need to stay in one's own energy so again this person is kind of like setting up high boundaries they're definitely being avoidant right maybe because they don't feel stable and also they don't want to like open up they don't want to i guess give you that closure or that clarity however i do see that there is going to be some balance and justice like i guess good karma coming your way this is also giving me the sense that maybe this person and you taught one another spiritual lessons so there were different lessons like there was a reason you met this person they taught you a lesson, you taught them a form of a spiritual lesson, but I'm also getting the sense that this card is simply saying like, the lesson has been learned and so it's kind of like the closing chapter, okay? 
But it's only in regards to the person that you're asking about. Your love life is not doomed. This justice card is also implying that there is better yet to come. There is someone who is more on your energy, on your vibration, your maturity level can give you more. This is kind of like a divine protection. The way that you, the reason why you two kind of separated, um, you think it was because of like you or because of them. But in fact, it was divine protection because you two just are not on the same level, on the same page. And spirit, your angels are trying to protect you um, and bring in an, an energy that is more deserving of you. And this person just like is not it, unfortunately. This Four of Swords is also giving me like focusing on your priorities as well and resting and self-care and stepping into your worth knowing what you will and what you will not settle for because this person isn't it this person really hasn't contributed a lot to the connection they could have been manipulative and playing games very hot and cold very distant emotionally from the get-go or it came all of a sudden at once and this person just is not looking for anything committal with anybody maybe not ever or just for a very long time and they want to keep that control and that maybe there's some pride here and they want to keep that shroud of mystery and so they're just looking to have a good time and they're definitely not trying to come like back together not to, not to say that they didn't like you it's just i don't see i don't see that i don't see that this person is willing to go an inch whereas like you let's say you would go a mile to try to get to this person I don't even feel like this person would go an inch to like meet you like so it's kind of one person is giving way too much into the relationship maybe that is how you were um in the connection when you two were together regardless of what that connection was but spirit wants you to know to keep your head up because there is going to be justice stay optimistic about your love life because love is going to come We have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. We have freedom. I possess the freedom and the free will to create my own happiness. And health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So again, I think that this health goes on both of your energies, but separately, right? Like for you, focusing on yourself and your heart and your betterment um but this freedom is giving me like letting go releasing this situation so that you can get this health back because especially if you've been pausing your life and waiting around for this person maybe getting a lot of personal private readings from multiple people and there's like a mixed bag of like responses of what these psychics have told you some say yes some say no it's kind of like your health your stress is not is not the best like your health's not the best right now especially if you've been worrying about it holding on to it in an unhealthy kind of codependent way focusing on your health is the most important thing and that in order in order for that to happen in order for you to draw in the perfect love for you you have to release this person and you have to um kind of like just let it go right because this person's energy is in this indecisiveness going back and forth and it's only going to drag you down and it's like why would you want to be like dragged nobody wants to be dragged down and i know that there could be strong attraction and there could have been a lot of magnetism here in between the two of you but you two are on different paths you two are not meant to be on the same journey because your purpose and their purpose do not align together so this freedom is simply just talking about stepping into that self-mode, self-care, um, setting up boundaries, protecting your energy, revitalization, resting, healing, whatever you need to do. Um, but cutting ties would definitely help improve your overall well-being and bring in new love for you. And last but not least, we have sharing. There is giving and receiving and receiving and giving. And so you have to ask this all 
hitting this harsh, not harsh, but this very significant message is, have you been receiving what you've been giving in this connection? Like if you really step back and take a look in the overall connection between you and this person, did they give you as much as you gave them? Was there an equal give and take here, like the Six of Pentacles, right? Or were you giving more and more and more and more and this person was just taking, 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 taking? That is also um, something that's not good for you and letting that go will help your health Maybe being with some friends or family, I'm getting specifically family, being around some family members as a support system through this time so you're not to yourself would be beneficial for you as well because they would give you that equal give and take and it would be emotionally um, healing and emotionally supportive for you. We have assistance with access. It is necessary to ask for and accept help in order to receive it. So some of you may not be like some of you may be going through a rough time, um, not just in regards to this connection, but like emotionally speaking, or maybe you feel you have a lot on your plate financially or just so much going on and you feel a little bit isolated. Don't be afraid to ask for help because there are people in your life, there are family members, there's someone, there's at least one or two people in all of your lives that want to be there for you, but they can only be there for you if you come to them and you ask them for help, okay? You shouldn't be suffering on your own, you shouldn't be struggling with whatever you're struggling with on your own because that's dangerous. And last but not least, we have the inner integration. There is a peace, equilibrium, and fulfillment in integrating the inner wild with the taming and tempering effect life has on us. So this is just giving me cycles and lessons, right? This is the same person just aged and like, so this is the youngest one and then she gets older, but these are all her. And so this just talks about how life is a journey and life's a transition and we meet certain people in our lives to teach us certain lessons and to and to help us grow and point us in the right path. Um, but definitely focusing on self-care. I really want to give a lot of you a hug because some of you are going through really rough, dark moments here, maybe spiritually or otherwise. But um, don't be afraid to ask for help, Pile One, because there is help out there for you. There's many resources as well. If you have been considering maybe therapy, there's nothing wrong with therapy or counseling because I have done it myself. So, like, literally... Being, needing someone there when you're in an emotional, like, when you're not doing well emotionally, it is natural to want to isolate. Like, I've been there. You want to isolate because you don't want to deal with other stuff, but that is the worst response to that that you could do because you can't help yourself. You can't... You, you're not able to, like, support yourself all the way. Of course, there are times when you have to be by yourself to like maybe learn life lessons and stuff and spirit will purposely put you and like get you to be alone for a period of time to grow you. But then there are times when it gets unhealthy and you, um, you become isolated from everyone around you and you close off from the, your loved ones when you're not doing well. And it's like, that's not, that's not good. So Go to family members and friends. They will uplift you. And if you believe in prayer, pray. Um, or go to counseling or therapy. Greater things are coming ahead of you. You are ascending. You are on the right path. And you will meet your soulmate one day. Thank you so much, Pio One, for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for my next video that I will post. Until next time, guys. Bye. Hi there, Pile 2. Welcome in. So you want to know, will you get back together? Will there be a reconciliation with your person of interest? We're going to look into the tarot and the oracle cards to get to that. So let's start off with the tarot. We have strength. We have the nine of wands in reverse. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. 
We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Eight of Wands. So yeah, there, there is a yes here automatically. I am picking that up, definitely. Um, there has been some obstacles in this person's life holding them back. It could be um, anxiety, worry, um, baggage from a past relationship carrying into this one, um, avoidance, someone trying to focus on their finances, not feeling um, confident in themselves, not feeling like they ha give, have enough to give to this connection or their relationship. Um, but they have self-sabotaged in the past and they could be doing that in the present moment and it was just kind of, it's just back and forth. But I do see that with help from spirit, I do think that spirit guides are helping this person or like their angels. The Eight of Wands talks about communication. So I do think that they are going to reach out to you via some form of communication, like a phone call or text message or Snapchat DM or Facebook, Twitter, any, I'm getting mostly, it could be like social media or text message, but they are going to reach out to you. It's going to be more casual, like, how have you been? What have you been up to? Because they want to see, they don't know how you'll respond to them. So if you respond, you know, in a like uplifting or kind of like positive way then they would further it along but if you come across a little bit cold or callous then they may slink back um to uh themselves and go quiet again i'm hearing that there's going to be an apology that's going to be said here so this person does feel bad for the way that they have treated you in the past and how they have kept you waiting because this person feels like they're connected to your energy and so even if you're not talking they can feel when you're angry when you're sad when you're um disappointed in them and it affects them and they then um guilt trip themselves and they blame themselves okay i do think this person has been wounded in the past, the fact that the Nine of Wands is in reverse is actually a good sign because up front, as you can see, it looks like a battlefield, but this just talks about somebody who's being very defensive and they're letting their walls down. <laughs> they're letting their walls down gradually in the reverse position. So someone's not gonna be so like putting their hand towards you, like don't come closer. Their walls are, are going to come down very slowly. This energy is a little bit slow when it comes to them opening up completely. But as far as communication goes, I do think it's going to happen pretty soon. Um, but of course, you'll have to do the second part of the reading um, to get an exact win. But good news though, pay attention to birds in nature. Pay attention to your dreams as well because there are messages there from them, from their higher self to you trying to let you know where they're coming from in regards to dreams. Um, they are really appreciative of you being so understanding and compassionate to them when they have been kind of, I guess, tumultuous, like just bringing, they, okay. They feel like you've pointed them in the right path here. They think your sweetness, your compassionate, nurturing nature has really calmed them down, right? They're really, they owe a lot to you is what they would tell you. And they're grateful that you have such a huge heart and you've been so patient with them. Because they were kind of out of control and all over the place, right? The strength, it doesn't show justice in the in this tarot depiction image, but it talks in the traditional sense, there's a woman taming a lion. So it's kind of like the whole beauty and the beast reference, <laughs> I say, when I think about the strength card. And it's kind of like you're helping, you're helping this person see them for who they really are. Like without even realizing it, you're getting this person to look within. And so you're really helping them, you know, see past their pretensions and their mask and to see to see them for who they really are when they probably didn't see themselves for who they really are in a very long time. Um, it could have been since childhood for some of them. And so this reflection, this space is needed so that they can go within and sort out what needs to be sorted out and heal and forgive um, who they need to heal and forgive from. <laughs> 
and they have to realize that the depth of this connection is very significant and special. This person always knew this connection was special, but they were in denial because their wall was up, they were being defensive, and they were hurt. They were hurting. Um, and the communication was off from their end to you. They came across a little bit cold and callous. Could be a fire sign or an earth sign here. Um, but they're coming out of that, right? They're definitely in a period of reflection right now to determine what it is that they want, but they do look up to you. They kind of see you. They would never say this probably because they have ego. That ego in them will probably not go away, but it won't get so out of control. <laughs> but I think that's what you're attracted to about them, to be honest, pal, too. Um, and <clears throat> what was I going to say? They would say that you were like a hero to them or like a guiding light, right? A guiding light home. So when you two met, this person felt like they were plunged in darkness, darkness, dark energy of people they hung around. That is something that surrounded them. And then you came in like a burst of light. And this person was illuminated, but triggered, right? So definitely a soul connection is what I am picking up for this beautiful pile here. Um, patience, patience, patience is needed, okay? But yes, you two are going to come back together. Now let's get into the Oracle cards. We have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. And worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So this this person has been very in their head, anxious, um, indecisive, but just kind of plagued and ruminating in fear and worry about not feeling good enough, about rejection, about giving them all to you and then you backstabbing them. There's so many different um, things that they're anxious about, right? But they're going to come back. I think I did say they're going to ask for your apology. I don't know if I did though. But they are going to ask for your forgiveness. Spirit is also saying forgive them. Um, maybe before they even ask you to. Because I do think they are going to ask you to. But in order to manifest this to go smoother and faster, try to forgive them and let go of resentments now. I know that this connection could have been very agitating on your end, especially if you tried everything in your power to make it work. And then this person, it seemed like they didn't even try or care or didn't have like backbone. Um, but forgiveness is needed here. Okay. Unconditional love is what you two have for one another. And if you can tap into that, then it will help facilitate things. There is a root connection of friendship that this person that this person treasures the most about your connection together. I think your person of interest treasures this friendship more than anything, right? Um, and this is what they cherish you the most with. Like there will always be that root connection or foundation of friendship. Last but not least, this can talk about their shadow work. That they are going through what they're learning distorted perceptions reality is rarely what we are raised to believe it is so again there's some type of illusion maybe the way that this person grew up affected them in some way in some capacity we have a weeping wound okay you are not your wound so this person this lady has a a big scar in the middle of her chest, a ga gashing wound in her heart space. So this person has been hurt by love before, and that is why they came across a little bit cold and callous and their walls were like 10,000 feet high, is because they gave their all once to someone and they were betrayed. And this wound could also come and stem from childhood as well in the environment that they were raised, especially if that was a little bit toxic and violent that um, kind of shaped this person's mind in some way about how love can be toxic in general. Like maybe this person was just like, F love completely. I don't got time for it. I don't want it. But then this connection came in 
and you cannot deny how strong this connection is. Neither of you can. And it scared the living pants out of them. Because this person, I think you were too. You could have been as well saying, F love. I don't want love. Like when you two met <laughs> initially, maybe you both weren't looking for love, right? You both had your own set of wounds. But this person was 10 times more terrified than you were. Okay? And so this is what they are working out, that they are not their past mistakes, you know? Um, seeing themselves in a clear light healing as well and we have creative power release your alchemical energy into the world this is giving me empress vibes this is kind of like how your person sees you okay um they want to create something here with you also they think you're very beautiful um and they're trying to manifest the two of you to come back together so now after this beautiful reading you can now go to the second part and choose, you know, A, B, or C to get to when will you two um, reconnect. All right. Thank you so much for watching Pile 2. Please give me a thumbs up and I will see you later. Bye. Last but not least, hi there, beautiful Pile 3. Welcome in. This is going to get into will you two reconnect? Will you two get back together? Will there be a reconciliation here? So I will answer that with the tarot and the oracle cards. Let's dive into it. I'm already feeling the energy, but I don't want to say it just yet. We have the seven of cups here. We have the hermit. We have the king of swords. We have the five of cups. So there's some regret here on their end. We have the Nine of Swords in Reverse. It's a good card to be in Reverse. We have the Seven of Swords in Reverse, a perfect card to be in the Reverse. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful way to end it. All right, well, I already have a yes, okay, Pile 3? Um, it's definitely a yes. I was picking that up from the beginning before I even looked at the cards. I never look at the cards before I um, lay them out. Okay, so your person misses you deeply, Pile 3, okay? I can tell you for a fact that this person has been thinking about you, daydreaming about you, imagining a future with you and living together and having children together and being married together. They are literally obsessed with you, Pile 3. They are obsessed with you. They, they think about you nonstop from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to sleep. Some of them have been trying to pull on your energy. Some of them have been trying so hard to get your attention in the 5D. But some of you were just like, nope, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> um, but yeah, this this person is kind of like the King of Swords. It's like the King of Ice. The King of Swords gives me somebody who's just super cold and callous, very in their head, um, in their fears and anxieties and thinking things through logically and for you to think logically when it comes to romance or love, like you can't do that, right? You cannot you cannot go into a relationship from your mind and thinking logically and rationally. That is not what love is about. That's for like career or business or school, right? You don't come into like a relationship from that perspective. And honestly, this person wasn't looking for a relationship. This person wasn't looking to fall in love, but they did. And I do see that they are in love with you, but they are not wanting to look at it right now. They are wanting to currently be in denial. Um, they're feeling void without your essence or without your presence in their lives. They miss the sound of your voice. They miss your smile. They miss you in general. Like your energy to them is kind of like, a sunshine like bright light right the brightest of all lights and in this person's internal world <laughs> in their emotional world it's darkness very sad um energy um i don't think they're hanging around the best of people to be honest and they are listening to the wrong advice they're listening they're maybe asking the wrong people for advice here and people are sabotaging the connection may be out of either jealousy or just because they're not in the right 
um, vibration. But this person is wallowing. They're definitely wallowing in their guilt and in remorse and like kind of missing you. And But it's kind of like a pity party. It's kind of like this person struggles with actually taking the step forward because they would rather you come to them. And so this whole, like, for them to finally register in their mind that, hey, no, actually it's me who has to come to you, that would require them to kind of, like, to step out of denial. And that is not what they want to do. So, again, it's kind of like this prolonged energy of this person knowing there's something here, but they're like, get out of here, feelings. Nobody wants you. Like, go to the side. But this person is growing, okay? They are growing. It's kind of slow, not gonna lie, but they're growing. Um, they could be an air sign, water sign, or an earth sign. And I think that they are learning lessons. They go, they are going within. Um, maybe they're opening up to spirit, but if they are, it's very slowly. Again, because they don't want to surrender. They don't want to release control either. <laughs> very big pride here. Um, but they have been in their imaginations quite a lot, fantasizing about you so much. So. And some of them are going to like alcohol or drugs just to escape, or maybe they're they're doing they're focusing on their work for that. But I do see that they are going to come forward, and they're going to realize that they have to make this the movement. But first, they have to come out of this denial, which will take time, but it will happen. And then they are going to give you this offer here, and I do think this offer means commitment because the Ace of Pentacles, for some reason to me, talks about a commitment. And like the Ace of Cups is just talking about someone wanting to start over, date. But this to me is talking about something um, material, physical, um, long-lasting. It's a slow energy, but it's also a long-lasting one. So I'm getting that this person sees you as endgame, Pile 3. And one day... They're going to ask you. They're going to take it. The step. They might be a little bit under the influence. Not going to lie. Especially if this person has some um, addictions. They may be a little bit under the influence when they open up to you. If they take you out on a date or something. They may have some alcohol in their system <laughs> to help them out. Okay? But I don't. It won't be crazy. And I don't think you guys would mind it. Um. But the Nine of Swords, this upright, is talking about fear. And I do see, you see the wounded wolf here looking really sad. So they're healing that. They're healing past wounds. The Seven of Swords upright is deception and lies. But in the reverse, it's like they're coming out of that. So again, positive reinforcement here. Uh, Spirit is like working on the connection here. But it, it, it all is a heart issue. This person has a heart blockage, um, and that will not bring two people together. If someone has such a big blockage in their heart space, it's not going to work out. So it's it's going to take time. That's all I'm going to say. But the answer is yes, you two will, will reconcile again. I am getting a, some form of a soul connection here uh, for a lot of you. Um... So, yes, go to the second part of this reading, A, B, or C. It's in the description, and it'll, and you'll, um, it'll give you a when. Like, when will you two reconnect? All right. We have peace. I am a being of love, and I release all negative energy. Service. I feel good when I can help others. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So, wow. Wow. So, this person is definitely um, maturing a bit because they're accepting it. They're accepting the blame. I think they will accept, I mean, tell you up front that they blame it, the sabotage on themselves. Whereas maybe they were the ones to always point the finger to someone else and blame like them, 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 you, you, you. And always shift the blame from them to someone else, but not for you. 
I think they're they're gonna acknowledge this and it's gonna mean a lot to you pile three especially if this has been going on you two have had this rodeo <laughs> this uh, salsa dance for a very long time and we have courage beautiful I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. They are overcoming their fears, pile three, and they're stepping into courage because that is exactly what it's going to take for them to come to you. You kind of make this person nervous. I feel it in my chest, a little bit of anxiety. They know that you are a direct communicator. Um, not to say that they think you're mean. They think the complete opposite, by the way. They think you're very sweet, maybe too good for them, but... There's something intense about you, and I don't think you realize it. It's not necessarily bad. Um, it's just triggering for this person. It's not for an, everyone else in your life, but just this person um, finds you to be a little bit um, intimidating. What It could be your eyes. It could be the way you communicate. But they also like it, though. There's a part of them that are, that is turned on by it, but it's like sexually... Um, and then there's the fear, though, when it comes to getting close, being vulnerable, intimidation. Um, but they're going to make things right with you, okay? There is going to be harmony between the two of you. There was previously a lot of chaos. There is going to be a balance between the two of you. Your angels really are telling me to tell you that there is going to be a resolution here. There is going to be clarity. There is going to be closure. You two are going to make peace together. And you're going to take things to the next level eventually. Everything happens for a reason. Um, but try your best to hear them out and like forgive them, but also let your feelings and your voice and your what you want be known like be assertive in communication um what i see happening here is that this person not i'm not saying this is going to happen right when you two meet up okay like that this person is going to just spill all the tea and let out all their love and affection and devotion for you no but it's going to happen pretty soon after you two reconnect and I do, what I'm seeing, I see it very vividly, is that this person is going to lay it all out. They're going to just want to talk, 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 talk. They're just literally going to ask you up front, maybe even, can I just say everything I need to say first? And then you can, like, tell me something and you'll be like, okay. And then they're just going to, they're going to say all they wanted to say. All that their fear held them back from saying. Um... Maybe even spirit's going to help them, you know, and intervene with them, like getting it out there because they may be afraid. Um, but they're definitely going to put, they're going to say so much to you and you will not expect it at all. Even if you've had readers tell you this was going to happen, your intuition tells you, spirit, your angels tell you this is going to happen, you're still not going to... Um, it's still going to be a, a very beautiful surprise for you, even if you've been told this. Some of you already know this is going to happen, um, but it will still be a surprise. And some of you will get emotional in a good way. All right, now this is going to talk about shadow work um, and lessons that maybe you're learning or that they're learning. We have spirit self, be who you are as you are. So this is what they're learning. This is what you have learned. I think you've already learned this um, lesson about seeing yourself for who you really are. And this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to see themselves not through other people's words because people have been belittling this person um, their whole life, judging them. Um, not believing that they're able to do something in this world. So, they, so it's kind of like... They don't see the true essence of themselves in a spiritual way, um, like looking past the mirror because you're not your physical body, you are an eternal soul. And they have failed to see this side of themselves, this creative side, this intuitive side, bright, beautiful side of them. Um, and so they're trying to see that. They're trying to see that they are special. They are something. They do have something to give to the world. They are worthy of love. They are good enough. Um, and, and this really does need to be learned for them to open up their heart space and heal and to come out of that denial period. 
We have the unknown, knowing the unknown. This is giving me high priestess vibes. This is giving me the world vibe. So connecting with your intuition and releasing doubt is very important here for the both of you. We have strength of vulnerability. True power lies at the root of a perceived weakness. So again, opening up, being vulnerable, that's something that terrifies this person more than like, snakes or or horror stuff you know like nightmares no to them like their biggest nightmare is just opening up their heart and being vulnerable um and showing their softer side because maybe they grew up thinking that being emotional showing emotions is considered weakness and so they are learning they are learning uh to push away all the lies that they grew up hearing, right? From their household, their childhood, seeing themselves for their true selves and their true light. That's that's very, the most important thing for anyone to do before they get in a relationship is to acknowledge and see your own worth, okay? If you don't see your worth and you are trying to get in a relationship, you're gonna try to get that person to see your worth and it's not gonna happen. The only way that people could see your worth is if you know your own worth, okay? And that is a long lesson, especially depending on how you grew up, um, uh, how your parents treated you, um, and how they spoke to you. This could be an inner child wound on both of your parts. Um, and I think that you are already, you have already learned this. You're currently still learning this part to truly trust your intuition because you do doubt, so you're still learning that. You've already learned this vulnerability. I don't think you're scared of being vulnerable. Um, this person has to learn this, this, and this, whereas you learned these two already. So this person has to catch up to you. Last but not least, we have emptied. The ending and beginning lie at the either side of the same door. I think this is a beautiful card, Pile 3. The ending and the beginning lie at the either side of the same door. So if the door is closed and there's an ending, the door is going to open up again for the two of you because this, this connection never really dies. Okay, so thank you so much, Pile 3, for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Oh, and be on the lookout for the second part of the reading to get a win. When will you two um, reconcile? I will see you there. Thank you so much for joining. Bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome in. So now you are here because you got a yes for the pile that you chose. So there are three options. We have an A, B, and a C, and this is going to give you a when will you two reconcile and be together. And so when I when I say when will you reconcile, this is not me asking the question, when will you hear from this person? No, this is going to answer when will you two hang out, okay? When will the two of you be in each other's presence? Like when will you two meet up? in person, physically. That's the kind of question I'm asking. Um, so I should have been more specific about that. Like this, it could be like, if, especially if you two live in other states or countries, like that could be um, modified that when will you hear from them? But I'm really getting more of like a physical, when will you two physically be reunited? So choose from A, B or C. All of the timestamps are in the description and I will meet you there. Hello there, my A's. Welcome. So let's get into it. I'm going to lay out all the cards at once. We have emotions are running high, super moon. Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. Luck is on your side. This is giving me Cupid arrow vibes. New moon in Sagittarius. When is Sagittarius season? I am not good with zodiacs, but let's keep going. We have enlightenment. We have abundance. And we have miracle. Wow. This is all solar plexus cards. So this talks about life force, revitalization, ascension, learning life lessons, <laughs> spirit intervention. Okay. <laughs> um, beautiful energy overall. Okay. Um, I'm really getting spirit intervention is in this, okay? With the miracle and abundance. The connection overall and other maybe 
facets of abundance like you two will have together. Um, I think emotions are running high on both of your ends separately, of course, because you are separated. But your person's very emotional. You're very emotional. Um, some of you don't believe this person has or is capable of emotions because they're so like guarded. But they're really emotional beings, just like you are, because you two have this mirroring aspect. I am getting a twin flame type vibe or just some soul connection here or past life energy. Um, but you have luck on your side. There's going to be a new beginning here. Let go of worries and breathe out. This is for both of you. And there is going to be a miracle here. And I am getting speed and velocity. Um with this energy, let's go to the exact time frames with these two cards. We have you are ready and we have take action. So I know it doesn't give an exact time frame, but don't worry because I feel like this is going to happen in a week or two. This is going to happen in a week or two. All right. Very, very soon. Um, very soon and like very quickly. That is what I have for you. Pile A, that is it. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you lovely people next time. Bye. Hello there, my bees. Welcome. So we are going to see when you two will hang out, when you two will reconcile in person, um, if you're able to. And I'm going to lay out all the cards at once. We have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. Work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio, Cancer and Scorpio. And we have show the world the real you, full moon and Aquarius. So three zodiac signs, you or they could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius. We have forgiveness, vanity. So someone was being a little bit um, self-centered or a little bit selfish and egotistical. <laughs> and we have bittersweet. I'm hearing the sweet's not as sweet without the bitter. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so whatever issue was going on in your person's personal life is resolving itself. They are making amends or maybe cutting ties with people um, from their past. They are working through their fears of showing their, their real selves. That's a fear of theirs to be vulnerable and lay themselves bare. But they're working on these fears. Um... They're finding the courage, but then they're connecting to their crown chakra and their throat chakra and their heart chakra. Um, but yes, this I'm getting this is going to take a little bit of time. Let me look at the exact time frames with these angel cards. Within the next few weeks and a year from now. So within the next few weeks, I do believe this is when you will hear from them as far as like phone call, text message, DM, email, whatever it is. Um, you're going to hear from them in the next few weeks. So that could be anywhere from three to five weeks you'll hear from them. But I don't believe you two are going to hang out in the next few weeks. This doesn't mean couple. It's like at least three weeks. I don't think you two are going to hang out until like a month or two from now. Like two months maybe. But you're going to hear from them in about three to four or five weeks. And a year from now, I think this is when something very significant is going to happen in this connection where you two may be in a commitment or commitment <laughs> or something significant will happen in a year. Thank you so much, B, for watching. That is it. I will see you in my next video. Feel free to subscribe. I'll see you lovely souls next time. Last but not least, hi there, C. Welcome in. So this is going to be talking about when will you two meet up and hang out in person and have that reconciliation. I'm going to lay out all the oracle cards at the same time. We have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. You and your loved ones are safe or this connection is safe, new moon in Cancer. And adjustments are required, third quarter moon. So there's still some things that need to be sorted out. You or they could be an Aquarius or Cancer, but you don't have to be. We have discovery or learning, um, like self-discovery, self-worth. Yes, self-worth. Okay, yes. 
and rejection. So this was like a fear, right, of rejection that kind of maybe prevented this person from coming forward to you. But I do see that this connection is divinely protected and guarded and watched over and it's secure. So there's no need for concern here. There's just some things that even you have to sort out in your own personal life. They have to sort out in their own life. And but love is going to come out of this. But this is going to say the exact time frame with these angel cards. So let's look. We have wait. So wait and um, divine timing. We have perfect timing. Okay, look at this. She's like perfect timing. And then within the next few months, this is when you two will hang out in person. And I think that when this person reaches out to you, like through a text message or a call or something, it'll be very close as when like when you two will hang out in person. You know, does that make sense? Like I'm not saying this person's gonna reach out to you after separation, after a while, um, and call you and then three weeks later you two will hang out. I'm getting this person's gonna reach out to you and then maybe less than a week after they reach out to you, you two will hang out. So all of it will happen pretty much at the same time. Um, and it's going to be within the next few months. That could be anywhere from three months to five months. Okay? So that is that. Things need to be adjusted here. Some doors need to close and some self-discovery and um, healing and self-confidence on their part needs to take place. So thank you so much. Please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you like my readings. I post readings two times a week. And I will see beautiful souls next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye.